I've recently been getting a lot of messages similar to this one. Whenever I start a new book, I always stop reading or get bored after a couple of chapters. How do I finish my books? This is an issue I've personally faced countless times. A book piques your interest. You buy it, you start it, and then no matter what you do, you just can't bring yourself to carry on reading it. Yeah, I've been through that too. Oh, there you are. I've found that to get past this reading barrier, it's important to understand why it happens in the first place. Tell me then. Okay, one, books can take more effort to read than we think. Whenever we watch a movie, a documentary, or any video, like this one, yes, like this one, it's basically doing a lot of the work for you. Video content is usually designed to keep you entertained. The same goes for social media, for example, where it takes no effort to keep scrolling through your timeline. And there isn't a problem with that per se, it's just that we've become accustomed to consuming content passively. With books, not every part is going to be as exciting, especially in non-fiction books where some of the content can be rather complex. There will be boring chapters or parts where the author is trying to lay the groundwork for the rest of the book. Just try your best to get through them and I'm certain there will be exciting bits again. Oh really, so I can get back to these again? You haven't finished those yet. You started them like months ago. I was busy. Two. Because it takes effort, it can also be exhausting. If you're reading for more than an hour, make sure you take regular breaks. Or read an hour or two and then only pick the book up again the next day. That way you won't easily get tired of it and it will allow your brain to process what you've read during that time. Just don't let reading become a mentally exhausting task and you can increase the amount you read over time. Let that sink in. Three. It takes time to finish a book. You've probably seen these read one book a day programs on the internet and my view is that they're a bit of a scam. Most books take much longer than a day to finish. I mean take a book like Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari. It's a fairly chunky book and will probably take you one or two weeks to complete it. Okay so the sun has decided to shine right on my face here. Look at this. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll move here or something like that. I'm gonna have to move closer so that there's no sun. And while there are books you can read within a day, it depends how many hours you have to read within that day and your reading speed and how many pages the book has and the font size. For normal people who have to work, study, exercise, cook and generally just survive, if you can spare an hour a day to read, that's already pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Normal people. What do you, what do you mean by that? Anyway, don't get frustrated if you're taking a long time to read a certain book and read at your own pace. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. Which leads to my fourth point, habit. You've already heard me talk about the power of habit plenty of times and I'll bring it up again because I really can't stress enough how important it is. Think about brushing your teeth. You do it every day because it's become part of your daily routine. You really like to use toothbrushing analogies, don't you? I mean, the same goes for exercising or working or anything you do on a daily basis. Reading is reading is something you want to create a habit of doing. Like I explained earlier, it can take time to finish a book. So acquire the discipline to read every day and you'll start feeling the compound benefits of doing that. You'll pick up momentum, which is crucial for you to increase your reading speed. Five, it's really easy to get distracted. It's really easy to get distracted. Oh, you're still talking to me. Oh, sorry. We now live in a world where literally everything wants your attention, even this video. Your attention is like gold. Notifications, Netflix, TV, people calling you. Who calls anyone these days? So try to find a quiet spot and keep your phone away. 
and I know it's really hard, but maybe even switch it off. Yeah, that's really hard, I know. And reserve some undivided time with you and your books only. Lastly, find what you truly enjoy reading. Don't just get a certain book just because everyone's reading it or because some dude on the internet recommended it. Try to find genres that interest you, genres that touch your heart. Whether it's non-fiction on psychology or philosophy or sci-fi or a romance novel, keep searching for books you'll ultimately enjoy. There are tons of genres out there and I have no doubt you can find books you'll fall in love with. Books that are so good you'll lose sleep over them. Books that you dive in so deep you'll forget what day it is. Okay, okay, I got your point. I'll get through these now. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So you can get notified whenever I release a new video. See you soon. Yeah, bye. Because I've got a whole ton of books to finish now. Great. Okay, I think I'm going to have to move closer so that there's no sun in my face or something like that. Look at that. I'm actually going to have to wait or I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, okay, I think this will work.